Hey guys, vlog number three. It is Saturday, 4.50 in the afternoon. The day has obviously been started for a while. One, I woke up late today. Uh, two, it's a Saturday, so um, I don't really know how this would go. I didn't even know, you know, if I was going to try and make this a daily thing, but I guess it turns out, you know, I am. It turns out it's, it's going along not too bad. I try to edit them every night. Uh, upload them on the day of, so by the time I end the vlog, I literally drop it in, edit it, upload it. Uh, and that's, you know, the, I guess, the ease of ease of it you know i'm just shooting this with an iphone uh, i look forward to changing up cameras in the future but right now it's the easiest way for me to kind of drop it edit it and i'm sorry for the shaky hands here but anyways it's saturday like i said I'm, i work on saturdays i stay in most of the days so i didn't really know if this vlog would be interesting but i'm gonna go head out to the store um buy a early dinner i guess uh and some coffee so i can get back start off really working i haven't really been working that much and yeah i, I, I like to work on saturdays <laughs> yeah I, like i said i have nothing going on today as usual, I stay in on the weekends. I like to work, unless I have any plans, but just one of those days. So I'm going to go head out. Oop. All right, guys, so this has become like the unofficial camera angle for, for the vlogs. Anyways, it's a really nice day outside, actually. Oops, a lot of potholes on this road. Uh, uh, like I said, nice Saturday. Usually people will be out on the weekend. I'm staying home. I consider myself an introvert. I mean, a lot of the work I do is from home. You know, working from home as a whole, they're top. You know, you're getting a lot of lens flare there, sorry. But uh, I thought it was an interesting one because I was actually, I guess my topic of today kind of relates to um, self-employment and beyond. I had an interesting conversation with my family yesterday at dinner. Uh, we went to a late Valentine's dinner with my mom and dad. Uh, I have two sisters, but they're stateside and they're much older. One of them's already graduated and one of them's working. Or both of them are graduated, sorry. I'm um, both working. Uh, anyhow, and it related to like self-employment and stuff like that. And basically, and, and a lot of that in the college, because uh, personally, me, I don't see myself going to college. Uh, it's not in my future plans. I'm, I, I've never been a huge proponent of school in general. Not that like I, I hate school and blah, blah, blah. Like, I, I, I do really well in school. I, mean, I, I graduated this year, or not graduated well. I finished this year as a semester with a 4.0. Uh, I have really easy classes. I've always been, you know, doing well in school. It's not that I've ever and never failed a class or anything of that sort. Just that I feel like school is so limiting in the fact that, like, I don't really learn what I'm interested in. And while there is some classes I had that piqued my interest, there's never really been anything that you guys are going to get super, I'm super bright right now, but um, let me put this up here. Um, basically, like, I've never really, you know, I, I listened to a guy called the Nerd Writer on YouTube, and I, I thought it was so interesting how he said there was a quote that he said from one of his videos where he says that he never, you know, in school he didn't really study the material; he studied the teachers. And I think that's something that's uh, very similar to me in the fact that I, I think you can get more benefit out of learning on your own, and, and you know, there's always the resources are out there, especially nowadays with the internet. There's so much you can do, and there's so much you can learn. Um, Anyways, touching back on the topic I was just mentioning, I mean, like I said, college, I think, is it's an experience, definitely, and I'm not saying it's completely useless. It's just to me, I feel like a degree or a paper shouldn't really value or, you know, shouldn't really constitute, you know, what I'm possible or capable of doing. I mean, I think anybody can really do anything, and that related to the subject of, you know, self-employment. I was kind of, like, laying out my parents what my plan is after high school, and, you know, I have a cushion, uh, I've been saving up for, like, a you know, four to five month cushion outside of high school uh, that I can, you know, really take to expand my online business and what I want to do in life. And to me, if you, if you are, you know, if you want to do something that you love, you know, definitely do what you love. I mean, that's why you would do something otherwise to me is confusing. I mean, I understand people need to shoulder, you know, families and stuff like that, but do what you love. And, you know, that's, that's number one in life, obviously, and the money and all that comes with that. You know, hard work, and uh, there's a car right here, and I don't know if he's going to be able to fit. All right, okay, he'll fit, but, um, but like I said, 
you know, self-employment, the thing about self-employment and what's so interesting about it to me is there's no limits to it really, you know, or you, you are, like I was talking to my parents about this, you know, like when it comes to a nine to five job, you're limited by the pay that you get and the position that you get. Yeah, you can get a raise, you can get a promotion, but you got to work for that. And in self-employment to me, whatever you do, there is no limits on what you can make and what you can earn just because it, it's, it's how much work you put in. I mean, you can put in tons of work at your nine to five job and still get, you know, a minimum pay or, you know, a decent pay. But when you're self-employed, when you have a really good idea, especially if it's a great business idea, the work you put in, you know, for me, client services, the, the amount of time I put in, the work uh, for the people I do stuff with, that's what really determines how much I'm going to make in the end. That determines, you know, my, my income for that certain source of revenue. So, you know, when it comes to college or stuff, you got to go for stuff like doctors and all that. But I think the system of, you know, spending that much money and now college is like the number one leading debt, you know, credit, uh, beyond credit and all that. You, uh, people who go to college and people who get student loans, that's the number one debt right now. It's ridiculous that kids have to walk out, you know, 20, 25, 20, and so on, so young, and be in $20,000, $40,000, $50,000 worth of debt, and maybe you get a good job. Maybe you get a job based off of your degree. Maybe you even get a job related to that field. Maybe you don't. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, that's my thoughts on, on college. Like I said, if it's your path, it's your path, but uh, I think that if you if you really want to do something you love, there's, there's potential that's outside of college. I think college shouldn't always equal success in everybody's mind. Yeah, it's it's a road, it's a step, but there's a whole bunch of other paths to that. Hey guys, I want to take a quick second to give a shout out to all of you guys who have been commenting on the recent vlogs. I know it's outside of my daily stuff, but. Um, I do thank you for the, you know, uh, checking out the content specifically. I know I'm off the top of my head, I should say, uh, Toxify, I know PC Tech Girl, you guys have been commenting a lot on the vlogs. Uh, super thanks to you guys. Super thanks to everybody who's been watching, liking the videos. Um, I'm still going to be uploading every now and then, you know, unboxings to the channel, stuff like that. My opinions on technology and big things happening. But of course, my reviews, news, that sort of topics is over at Digital Dojo. So do subscribe to that channel as well. Um, and you know, hey, uh, I'm trying to keep this going daily if I can, and I, I apologize, you know, I'm not, I don't have a variety of stuff going on. I mean, uh, looking at my last recent vlogs, I know I'm in the car a lot, but honestly, typically I'm not driving that much. I'm indoors, I'm working, I'm doing whatever. Um, but I do appreciate your guys' feedback, and uh, you know, I try to make these vlogs better for you guys. So if you ever have questions in the comments, stuff like that, I, I'll try to reply to it and all that in the vlogs, but just a shout out to you guys and shout out to all the viewers out there for the vlogs. If you haven't already been able to tell from the vlogs, I'm a huge coffee drinker. I mean, I, I really, really do love coffee and uh, it's it's one of my daily habits. I literally, you know, before I go to school, um, especially on the weekends, one, it keeps me fueled uh, to do work and all that and it's just something I, I'm really interested in and um, I've actually really taken up, uh, I got a new AeroPress for Christmas, or this Christmas recently. And it's just something I, I've been a huge interest in, brewing your own coffee and making it via AeroPress. I want to get a Chemex. I want to get all sorts of crazy, you know, there's a whole bunch of, uh, like, a whole geek world for coffee enthusiasts. Here's my Nexus 7. And uh, to be honest, I don't really use much of my Nexus 7 uh, as of later in a while, to be honest. I really do wish I did. I mean, I... I considered selling it at a point, um, other than the fact that I need Android, uh, kind of to take a look at some things for clients, uh, and, and the app side of Android, I really do want to get into it and use it more, it's just the fact that, uh, you know, the app market, I, I, I still need to dive into it, to be honest, I haven't given a fair enough chance to really dive into the app market and the Google Play Store and all that, I, there's so much I can learn about it, it's on Paranoid Android right now, um, but... I do want to find a way, and again, I, I pose this out to my viewers. If you guys know of a way to capture the screen, I, I've used Droid VNC, and it's really, really bad quality in terms of playback on the on the Mac here. But if you guys know a way to record the screen, software-wise, uh, you know, I don't want to use a camera on the screen. I want you to be able to record it software-wise, the same way I do my iOS app reviews. Please let me know. That'll help me out a ton. Uh, if there's any, you know, great programs out there to mirror it on a PC or Mac, uh, drop it in the comments below. Hey guys, so it's been a long day. I'm kicking back right now. I'm, it's like, what time is it? I don't even know what time it is. It's about to be 1 a.m. 
I'm um, watching a my YouTube channel, Mighty Car Mods. Uh, they're pretty cool stuff. I I wish I knew a lot about uh, automotive automobiles and that sort of stuff. Uh, definitely a cool channel though to watch. Um, but uh, I'm just tuning into that right now. Uh, long day. Got a lot of videos done, but not super productive. <laughs> I mean, there's some other stuff I needed to do, but I didn't get done, uh, like cleaning up the office and stuff like that. Uh, anyhow, it's a long day. I was actually just got done talking to my avenue neighbor. Uh, I live in a two-story thing. I think you guys have seen it from you know the original vlog, but um, I actually found out he's into. He's I knew he's into a lot of mechanics and stuff like that, but he's also into technology, and that's actually he works in like the satcom field for uh, I believe the Air Force here. Um, but it was cool to catch up and talk to him, and uh, you know, we talked about some stuff and technology. It was, you know, it's cool just to uh, talk to somebody who's in that you know same interest and all that. Anyways, um, that's the vlog for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know I look super dark here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the comments. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed the vlog, and love to hear you guys' feedback. I will see you all in the next episode.